There's like five of you that watch this show. You already know what this is. <laughs> I think we got I it. I like that yeah. intro. <laughs> <laughs> Jump into it. Yeah. All October we've been doing spooky stories. Ooh. And so I'm finishing this off with the spookiest that I could think of. All, yeah. of, all of our tales today are told by Junji Ito, uh, master of horror manga. Today we're going to be sailing from three of his collections, thus keeping us within the theme here. I'm not reading the whole thing. Well, I'm just no. Three separate no. books. No, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. No, not. Get ready. <laughs> the first will be um, Den of the Sleep Demon from the Museum of Horror, Volume 3, Hanging Blimp from Shiver, and Earthbound from Smashed. Nice. All so, right. interestingly enough, each of these, like, so this is Museum of Horror, Volume 3, but it's also subtitled The Long Hair and the Attic. Mm -hmm. They're all, like, subnamed after a story that's in them. Oh, so okay. there is the story Shiver and Smashed and The Long Hair and the Attic. Mm -hmm. I didn't make you read those. No. And in fact, the stories I chose today, I chose to kind of give you a uh, an assortment of the style of horror that Junji Ito tells. It's not every bit of them. He tends to also tell, um, there's, a, there's a little body horror here. Little, little body, oh, body yeah? just yeah. a little bit but and I say just a little bit because it goes beyond that I'm sure and since we're kind of dipping our toes in the water here for a lot of you guys um, who some of you don't have never read a manga in your life um, I was like you know what let's let's start with something a little more subdued okay these Fair are sub these that. are subdued an entry palette yes yeah. Yeah. and we've already talked about um, Amigara fault so I couldn't even put that in here mm, no uh, so I was like these are they so before everybody in the comments is like how come you didn't choose this one and you didn't choose that one because tell us about Smash. Earthbound. Oh. don't forget ladies who's and this by oh this is by Junji Ito oh. entirely With okay art by Junji, Junji Ito no, who, who did the coloring Nobody. <laughs> no, so, okay. So actually, Junji Ito does almost all of his art, except for some of the gray tones. He'll have, like, neighbors of his help him out sometimes, oh. putting those in. But George, he... you're going to come in here and do my gray tones? <laughs> but, After I'm done tilling the soil. But yeah, no, he does all of this art, and it takes him hours. An individual yeah. panel can take him for anywhere from three to nine to beyond that hours to, to create. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of hours. That's a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, like each, each book represents a lifetime. Junji Ito himself is over a thousand years old. <laughs> There's a phenomena that grips Japan or the Earth itself. I'm going to assume it's an Earth-wide plague. Uh, but it starts with one or a couple, and it just becomes uh, prolific throughout. Uh, characters seemingly at random uh, throughout the streets of this area, and perhaps farther reaching, uh, are kind of just compelled to hold themselves in one position and remain in such a position uh, without determent. No one can stop them from doing it and seemingly if you go near them or touch them it might infect you. That was cer certainly the, the expectation from anybody surrounding them because they they tried to approach it from a logical scientific perspective <laughs> at the very in, in, initially right uh, but they're in random places you don't really know why they're there you know some, some of them are in the woods or on top of rocks or on the side of a road and, and they're all doing this and some folk thought it was like a flash mob kind of creepy performance <laughs> issue uh, in fact we have a, a police it does officer look like performance art right, right. Yeah. a police officer's like hey knock it off or I'm gonna haul you out of here tries grabs him uh, this 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 com uh, this earthbound person is, you know, frozen in place, uh, refuses to move, and uh, they say that no matter what they do, no matter how times they move them, they return to the position they were in and the place they were positioning. Mm -hmm. Now that first guy, they do haul off. Yeah, they, they do, haul yeah, no, off. but no matter how many times they do that he to anyone, right back. they because go right that, back. Yeah. So it, it grips Japan, it thro it, it, and it just, it, it permeates throughout. There's a, there's a husband who's just like, whose wife and child are like, hey, what do you do? Stop! Like it just immediately happens. Uh, and we see that throughout, like just random folks are like this. And I like the kid who's just like, Mr. What are you doing? And he's like, get away from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at him. We meet Asano, who is a volunteer worker, who I think is like, she, it's been happening so much that she's like, I'm part of a volunteer group that literally deals with these people. That's formed yep. for this problem. She's like, what can I do? You want me to get you some food or anything? And this guy is like, broken and he has this like mournful look on his face no one is elated while doing the earthbound <laughs> position no uh, but she's just like i'm i'm specialize how indeed uh in people with these kinds of uh, afflictions uh and so you know she just like well here's some food and water and the dude is just like the, the one guy she approaches is like there's nothing you can do like leave me alone offers no solace mm -hmm. uh, there's a woman who's like begging her child uh, to, to knock it off. She keeps leaving food. They're not eating the food. They're not taking it. 
uh, and she's weeping and she runs into Asano and Asano's like, I am with the Blue Sky Society and let me give you my spiel. She's like a, you know, she's like a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> she's a social worker. Yeah. She is. She's yeah. just she's just trying to do good. Yeah. Uh, and, and 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 try to look on the bright side in terms of like, hey, this is this is a solvable problem. Yeah. And she's like talking to him. Yeah, yeah. She's like, what's yeah. going on? And like they're and then but this is where she kind of like draws a conclusion that most folk can't, because it's seemingly at random, but this boy is at the grave of a dog named Ponta. Yes. <laughs> no, I want to say Ponyo, but I didn't. Ponyo, Ponyta. I said Ponya. 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 Ponta. Ponta. Ponta Baba. But Ponta is his dog. Oh, good ass faces he, here. He loved this dog, and uh, the dog recently passed away, and so uh, Asano starts to think, like, maybe this is about grief. Mm. This is about, like, everyone who lost something is maybe at that place where they might have experienced this tragedy and loss. So Asana goes back to the Blue Sky Society. She explains to her chief, because she calls him chief. So like her boss. Well, yeah, and that could be a translation thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it's the closest they could come up yeah. with. in charge. Right, exactly. Yeah. So he's the yeah. chief. He's the head honcho, the big yeah. dog, top cheese. So uh, she's just like, maybe there's something to this. Like maybe there are people with like strong attachments. So, you know. That's, and he's like, well, that's a scoop. That's something, you know. Run with that. Run with that. See what, see what Good luck with figure. that. Yeah. And he's like, well, anyway, uh, now that we got the formalities out of the way, you want to get some dinner or something? She's like, actually, I'm moving. And uh, that's not a reason not to have dinner with you, but I'm still going to use it as one. <laughs> and he's like, what? You're moving already? Like, you didn't you just... She's like, yeah, I, I, I move a lot. That'll come up later, but not right now. Right. So she leaves. It's not a random she, detail. And she goes to her apartment. She opens the door, and there is a gnarled, tortured, earthbound in her apartment. We don't see his face until we get clearer and it's the chief. Chief's there. And she's like, what the hell's going on here? What are you doing here? Did you used to live here or something like that? What's your experience of loss? Mm -hmm. and, and he refuses to answer and he has a mournful, uh, sorrowful face. And he just says like, I guess these are the same, like, I guess I got it too. I don't really know what's, what's happening. She's like, she asks him, like, you know, do you know this apartment? Do you know whose apartment this is? Did you used to stay here? Did you know, and he's like, okay, here, I'm gonna put it out on Front Street. I like you. And she's like, oh. Yeah, he mentions like making a confession, and that's like a right. word you'll see a lot in manga yes. and anime yeah. is like somebody making a confession. I have yes. to confess. I have to confess that so. I secretly like you. Yeah, that yeah. I like you. She's oh. like, oh, what a scandal. So How she, dare you? She goes to sleep. <laughs> she, I mean, we don't see that, but like she falls asleep. Oh, she, she's like, well, you're here well, now. Okay, well, I well, live here, though. Well, it's bedtime, so <laughs> I'm going to sleep right next to you. Right next to you. That's my food time. Keep the lights on, off. You know what? I'm just going to turn them off. At least he's facing away. But she sleeps and she has nightmares, and she's just like, I can't sleep, like, or I can't stay asleep because I'm so, like, I, I'm so heartbroken for you. You Like, I feel bad that you are here and that you have, have this affliction and I'll figure it out. Do you think she tries to feed him? Like, I think, just, like, I assume she mm, does because she now. seems very, she's, <laughs> she's, she's, un, she's unrealistically dedicated to her job. Right. So, uh. So, at least he can talk. Throat, yeah, she's like, swallow. come on, swallow. Yeah. you can do it. Yeah, but she <laughs> explains. Like a baby bird. Yeah, but she says, like, I had this dream, and I have the same dream every night. <laughs> I have the same dream every night, and I guess since you're stuck in my apartment and you have no way of leaving, I'll tell you, but don't tell anybody else. Uh, I know you can't. <laughs> right, and you can't. But, like, well, he can talk. Yeah, yeah but who's going over? Well, that's true. Uh, but she's basically like, I was raped in my apartment. Somebody broke in and, and got me. And, uh, and, and it, Did she say she was raped? She said she, she, said she, she was, was, she was assaulted. assaulted. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he came out. You see him coming out with a with knife. With a knife. But, like, yeah, she said she was assaulted. Yeah. What, the, what that implies... You Could be open to interpretation. Yeah. Yes. That was my interpretation, but I apologize. That I mean, was also my interpretation. Yeah. yeah, and that's yeah. why she moves around so much. Yes. It's like... It's not even that she's afraid of being caught, although... Uh, she does admit that the person who, the perpetrator, was never caught. Right. Uh, but she, she she's moves got like a, lot. a little PTSD. Yeah. She's like, exactly. If I keep yeah. moving, they can't get me. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's like not rational. It's nope. like Yeah. That's but very believable, like completely head. realistic. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Uh, so we cut to another Earthbound in the middle of like a square. They send a hazmat team to move them. They're like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> We're moving everybody into one area. We're going to quarantine you. Yep. Yeah. So they start to move him, and then uh, his head pops off, and it turns out that everyone who is. Earthbound is also like so rigor mortis. They become like a monument. They become like a, a, a piece of like stone. Yeah. yeah. And so he breaks apart. And uh, we cut back to the boy yeah. at Ponta's grave. 
and she's just she's like, okay, the cat's out of the bag. It it is not curable, and in fact, it gets worse. It turns you into a rock person. So <laughs> we gotta like that's the boy. And in fact, the chief yeah, told her. You gotta her, stop. You gotta stop. Yeah, because the chief was like, go go. She she wants her case was gonna be about the, about the boy, and I thought the whole story was gonna be about the boy. Mm. But then the chief is in her apartment, and so that's when we get the big breakthrough about her past. Yeah. But she goes back to the boy, and she's like, you gotta stop. The, <laughs> the dog wouldn't want you to be like this. <laughs> They're like, come on, and massage his limbs before he like completely freezes. And he's like, okay. So here's the deal. I killed Ponta. He bit me once and I killed him for it. And so then like we see another person and there's like a there's like a sign seeking the hit and drive the, the hit and run driver. Like that's where the place was that a yeah. girl was hit and run. And the dude who perpetrated the hit and run is like is right earthbound next right next to it. Yeah. And so she's like, oh shit. Like she puts it together just like everyone else. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. And actually yeah. the art of like the, there's like four more silent reveals yes. that we see. And like one of them is particularly. Oh, the baby. Yeah. 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 That one's Jesus. particularly horrific. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So. Uh, Describe it. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> so she goes back to the apartment and he's, sit- and he's standing there like he knows what she's about to yeah. explain. Right. So she says like, well, you probably know by now that it's caused by a guilty conscience. And I asked the manager and he told me that a woman was killed in this apartment years ago. And my attacker was aware, was wearing a mask. And basically it was a similar kind of attack. And that like, it's you. You assaulted me. You committed crimes in such a fashion. Uh, so like, please tell me that there's no way that you are the one. And it's clearly you. Like, you He's know, like yeah. sweating He's bullets. Sweating yeah. bullets, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so she's like, it's you. And I can't believe it. So then uh, she leaves. And uh, they're just like, they're just craning people <laughs> into the pack of trucks. Yeah. And she like goes, well, I left the chief in my apartment and I walk away and I'm still moving from place to place. I guess like, so she, yeah. you know, she doesn't have a guilty conscience, but she's still haunted by the experience. And so she just, she leaves. Yeah. Even yeah. confronting the attacker is just like. Was not cathartic it. enough. Yeah. Even knowing the attacker is. Yeah, it, it was dead and, and punished for yeah. too long. Yeah, yeah. At and the same time, it still happened to her. Right. Like, yeah. He just yeah. showed up at her yeah. apartment. And now she has a whole other reason to be freaked <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Well, and of course, the thing that I think is prevalent with a lot of his uh, Junji Ito stuff is that, like, it, it's like it's hopeless, and it will eventually catch up with everybody. Like, yeah. Like, eventually, she will do something that she can't forgive herself for, and well, yeah, be... and it could be that, right? Yeah. That she left. She says she never moves. She can't move. Like, or she always moves from place to place. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, but that she left him. Yeah. Mm. Because, like, she left, like, she abandoned him. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. She, could, she yeah. could blame herself yeah, for that. Yeah, I didn't get that from that. But I but I do, but that's the thing about this, is that it could be any interpret. Like, you know, it's very yeah. open-ended, and, yeah. like, it's not like he's going to do a friggin' sequel to it. I forgot about the <laughs> bank robber wearing the motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Just being like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the second he shows up inside of the bank, you know what's going on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 For sure. uh, yeah, there's a lot of like really fun Easter eggs. I just wanted to get through like what the story was. Yeah. And, and tell you like that. And by was... fun, not fun. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Den of the sleep demon. I will take it. I will take this one. <laughs> Me! Me and no other. <laughs> um, so this is Den of the Sleep Demon. Um, written and drawn by Junji Ito. Yep. We haven't covered that yet. You know what I'm saying? We come upon a dude and a girl in a restaurant, it looks like. So the dude's name is Yuji. Uh and her name is Mari, and he looks like crap. <laughs> and yeah. he's like, I haven't slept in three days. And yeah. she's like, why haven't you slept in three days? Well, when I do, the uh, dream me, who I dream of, uh, will try and escape out of me and get into the real world. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, uh, cool. Yeah, I mean, he's a okay. novelist, so yeah. she's like, uh-huh. Okay. She's like, she's almost feeling like this is fake. Yeah. Like, like, are you doing a bit? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, is this something? Yeah, yeah. are you trying to act out a scene? That are you you're gonna oh, and then what happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I like where this is going. Go on. Yeah, please. Then, then what? No, um, that's it. my life. That's, that's... And she's like, you haven't slept in three days? No wonder you look like this. And he's like, well, I, I couldn't turn to anyone else. I don't, I don't have anyone. I didn't know who to talk to. So he confesses in her, like, this idea that, like, there's this dream person who is awake inside of him when he dreams that is aware of the outside world. And she's like... Well, have you thought about going to a doctor? <laughs> and he's like, I know you wouldn't believe me. And he storms out. And she's like, no, no, come on. I, I was joking. And he's like, look. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've thought about it. i thought about going to a doctor. Like, but what are they going to do? But what are they going right. to tell me? Like, they're going to think I'm crazy. 
She's like, and they're going to uh-huh. send me to a booty men. <laughs> yeah. And well, I wouldn't say crazy, but they might have some thoughts. Right. Well, so, I didn't say it. Yeah. yeah. So. So. But if you think. But if you said it, you maybe know, then you maybe think. you could get a breakthrough. Mm-hmm. He's like a, a psychiatrist wouldn't be able to help me out there. Like I, I don't I don't know what to do. And she's like, well, you told me. What do you want me to do? Right. Like this is why you're confiding in me. He's like, I want you to stay with me and keep me awake. Yeah. What a f- imposition. <laughs> Like, okay. Sure. Yeah. Like, and what, forever? <laughs> right, exactly. Like, well, I don't well, what? know. What, what were they going to do in Nightmare on Elm Street? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That plan is always yeah. terrible. <laughs> Except they were all in it together. This lady doesn't have anything to do She's with it. She's zero like, stakes. She yeah. could just be like, no. And then she, her life's fine. But Jur- uh, Yuji is her friend. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. And yeah. She's a good person. Right. She's an innocent. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah there's a lot of that in these where, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Worked out okay in this one. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I was shocked. I'm like, whoa, she gets away? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they do. That's what keeps you guessing every yeah. time you yeah. read one by him. You're yeah. like, where is this going? Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. So sure. she calls a friend she of hers. She doesn't think it's real anyways. Yeah. yeah. All right. She, she calls a friend of hers and is like, look, I lied to my folks. I said I'm staying at your place. Just play along if they ask. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do about Yuji, but I feel like I have to help him. And she even lays like comments are like, if this is just like his sixth sense of humor... No wonder he can't make it as a writer. <laughs> so like, ow. Well, She's going yeah. be like, you suck. Yeah. 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 Um, She's rough. <laughs> she arrives. He's just hanging out in his apartment. And I don't know if this is normal for him, but he like he's expecting company. He's just in like an undershirt and shorts <laughs> with like no lights on <laughs> in front of the TV. Yeah. Like, is this supposed to be... Ito's like reflection on writers. No, I, well, <laughs> so so. It's like well, naturally you got to t- strip down your boxer shorts, yeah. turn off all the lights, leave no, a, no, no, a warm glow no, of TV Jinji on. No, Junji Ito actually works at a desk that is like couched underneath a bed. Mm. Like it's like like, it's a, like a bunk like bed, mm. and then like his desk is underneath that. That's okay. that's where he creates like all tiny? of that. Oh, is it yeah. to like get the dream energy from? His bed? <laughs> no, it's just that's where he works. Like he's all about doing things as like straightforward and like simply as he can even mm-hmm. though he'll take nine hours to put together a page because yes. like historically speaking manga artists have to be insanely fast and he's mm. not right he takes his time which is what makes it so effective mm-hmm. yeah you know what i mean he's also literally the most mundane looking man he's such a <laughs> gentle looking soul and he really mm. is a gentle soul she asks him like how he is doing not yuji but like the dream self and he's like he's just getting stronger every time like I, I, I feel like I can't resist him. And she's like, well, what do you want me to do? And he hands her a roll of duct tape. He's like, here, bind my hands and my feet together. And then I should be okay. Well, then at least he can catch a couple of winks. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, all right. She does. He's like, I don't even know if this will work, but I haven't had anyone else here to do it for me. Right. So it's worth a shot. Yeah. She does. So she cuts the tape off of his hands because she's like, Come on, man. Yeah. Man, All right, now you're asleep. asleep. I love this bullshit. When he, he'll sleep for four hours she and shut up. She puts a blanket over him. She starts reading through the like the stories that he has there. And she's like, no wonder this guy is nuts. <laughs> like, look at all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's all horror books. <laughs> and then at one point, she falls asleep. And when she wakes up, she sees him on the floor with his mouth open. And a hand is coming out of his mouth. Yeah. And? <laughs> and? His arm is missing. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's like his, his arm is like arm sucked in. Sucked in and uh-huh. there's like came a, out. It's like a hole. Yeah. yeah. Like you pull a sleeve inside out on yeah. a shirt. Yeah. Or a glove. Or a glove. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, you see this happening. And she, <laughs> she just goes, sees it. She screams. And he wakes up. And the hand grabs her ankle. And she freaks out. And Yuji like grabs the other hand coming out of his mouth. Uh, forces it to let go of Mari's leg, slams his head down to shove the hand back into his mouth, and then starts pulling on the arm socket, like the little empty area, to pull the arm out. And he's like, Mari, Mari, you have to help me! And he keeps pulling, and like she helps pull him right side out again. Yep. And she goes, what the hell was that? And he's like, that's the other me. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. That's what like I, I told about. you. That's what you signed up for. Yeah. You said yes. Yeah. You heard my story and you said yes. That's I'm not why anymore. you agreed to tape my uh, hands and legs together, yeah, Which right? you didn't, by Which, the way. Wait, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you take the tape off. Why? And she's like, 
I thought you were kidding. <laughs> right. This is crazy. That can't be happening. He's like, but you saw it. And she's like, yeah. So his assumption is that, like, he's been dreaming all of this time. And his dreams have always been boring. Like, they've been more reality than his actual reality. Right. Like, in reality, he'll see a bird flying and he'll tape feathers to himself to try and fly. And, of course, it doesn't work. And when he dreams, rather than dreaming he can fly, his dream self just goes, you tried to fly? You're an idiot, man. Right. So. I love her because she's like, wait, if you turn into, what happened to your organ? Like, she's yeah, like, and you're like, this right. doesn't make any sense. Like, there's, what happens to your intestines? What, what, your heart and everything? Like, how, yeah. how would this even How work? is this even possible? And he's just like, I, I think I'm empty inside. Yeah, yeah. he thinks he's right. hollow. Because so, I'm hollow. And it's like, no, no, but really. Yeah, but no, like literally though, you were turning inside out. Where was all that stuff? Yeah. Well, and that's the cool thing about this book is that he lost his family. and He doesn't have anyone. Yes. So mm. the idea of him being hollow yeah. Yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. like that, no, yeah. that connection. He's, yeah. yeah, he's empty inside. Yeah. So he filled it with a fucking... No, but literally, I'm empty no, but... inside. <laughs> After like... I want to say a couple days of this happening, he's just like, look, I can't do this anymore. You should just, you should get out of here and just let me go because I have to save you. And she's like, you have to save me. He's like, I think the inside me wants you. I think that's what it's after. And it's because he likes her. Like, Yuji likes Mari and didn't know how to say it. Confession Ooh. number two. Oh. <laughs> so I've seen a theme. Yeah. yeah. There are many confessions in Jujutsu. <laughs> Worse. So she tries to keep him awake, but he keeps falling asleep. And so what uh, Mari does is, rather than taping him together. together again, she tapes her hand to his hand. Like, I'm going to ground you here. Like, yeah. you're not going anywhere. If you try and go, I'm going to pull you back out. Like, yeah. I'm your anchor. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> as you can imagine. Yeah, so that was a because, bad idea. Because uh, as he falls asleep... <laughs> you were right about the whole inside out thing. That was a bad call. <laughs> uh, it happens again, and it, once again, his right arm just gets sucked in, and her arm gets sucked in with it. Yep, yep. And she doesn't know what to do. She's just screaming. She's like, ah! And she's freaking out. And then, like, his other arm also gets sucked up, and two arms are popping out of his mouth. Not a third arm, though. No. You don't see Yeah, there's her. no, like, reverse her in mm -hmm. there. Nope. Or, like, her coming out. Yeah. Like, not even the reverse her, but her or just... Or just her just being allowed being to Being expelled escape. out of yeah. it. Yeah. And the arms are fumbling around, and she's just getting sucked further in. The arms eventually hit a guitar. They strum a little playing bit. It. And then it smacks it away, and she's like, I have no time for this! <laughs> I have to escape! <laughs> and then we get a horrific scene of where her upper torso and shoulder and head are just in his shoulder and coming out and his head is distending and eventually uh, this like very thing like John Carpenter like picture of just a head with legs coming out the bottom and it's this whole portal thing. Yeah. It's real gross. That's... It's real gross. Yeah, it's real bad. Some time passes <laughs> and three gentlemen show up at the door and they're the police and they're like, hi! Uh, well, one is... Uh, the father. landlord, yeah. the tenant, oh, the landlord, and uh, the two are either are cops, and they're opening the door, and he's like, "Oh, it's open." And they're like, uh, "Yuji, uh, Yuji, are you home? We're we're looking uh, for this girl named Mari. She's gone missing. We know you know. We her. know you know her." And they find a bag, and they're like, "Can we open this bag?" And there's just a body sitting in the darkness, and it's silhouetted with light, so it makes sense as to why like it looks like it's in shadow and dark. They're like, whose tote bag is this? Uh, and she's like, y you can't find her. There's no sense in looking for her. She has become my intestine. <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean? Do you mean you ate her? <laughs> what? You ate her? What? <laughs> no, I mean like literally. And she's like, where my intestines He's like, be. no, no, I gave her a trip into my dream world. And when he stands up, he is just shadow. Yeah. Um, again, I think that this is the shadow being the light like from the window. Because when you look at the back of him when they grab him there's still light flesh there but it looks all like like inside out bloody. yeah but no bones or intestines it's just like a glove that got flipped inside out yeah and he's like i gave her a one-way trip to my dream world like she's inside of me now with the other me yeah and that's the end that's kind of a happy ending for them yeah they got to be together forever yeah she also says something like while she's being pulled in where she's 
Like, it's not that she's, like, willfully doing it, but she's more like, if you go, I go. Like, yeah. She seems if you like... you go, I'm, with, I'm, yeah. I'm in it with you. Right. She's also probably exhausted, too. Yeah. I'm saying there's a yeah. portion of that where she was like, this was a mistake. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably the oh, first yeah. pull. <laughs> like, there yeah. was... Mistake. Like, oh, he's, like, stronger than me. <sighs> this was very, this was very strong <laughs> and, like... I, I, impactful when I chose to yeah. do it. I was like, no, I'm saving you. We're well, in this together. And I did not think this through. I, I can't this stop this. This, this, oh, this, this is another worldly being. It's also it's funny. Why did I think I could do this? It's yeah. funny when like they do, where it's mm -hmm. like, it's magic or whatever. You know, it's like, you're turning yourself inside out. There's a freaking thing inside of you. And like the, the character, like, like her is like, I've got it. Yeah. yeah. I figured it out. And, yeah. and it's like, I didn't. No, oh, I didn't. Oh, wait. Like it's the magic it's, it's has magical stuff. stuff. Like love will beat it, and it's like nope. Hey, nope. it could have been worse. At least she only taped one hand to him. Had she taped both hands on, oh, yeah. she would have gotten ripped in. Half. Would have ripped her in half. And yeah. it easily, yeah. and it definitely would have. And it would have. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's worse. Cool. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna tackle. I'm gonna I'm gonna save Ethan from the longest hey. one that we do. I'm gonna tackle a uh, hanging blimp. Um, <laughs> this is <laughs> something. This is a trip. <laughs> I'm going for a trip. Uh, Here we go. This is this is from Shiver, and I want to point out that uh, Shiver is a um, this is including nine of Junji Ito's best short stories, is selected by Junji Ito. Ah, oh, notice so our stories weren't in his book. So this is the best of the best. Some of yes. them, no, some of them are repeated, like mm. in other, uh, but like in these, they're not. As you can see, these are, are been printed Pardon. more recently. Right, yeah, but yeah. he cultivated this he, one. This one is, and there's actually like little like end blurbs. Oh, where and, he's like, like this is pretty art. cool because it's you know because he, the big he, heads and stuff. A lot of it's like. It I came up with it from this, ah, yeah. like, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. And, like, actually, this story, in this version of it, he says that um, there's another version of it printed for another publisher, mm. and, like, he actually fixed some panels. Oh, cool. And so it's a little different. So if you're, and like... this one or the or the other one? It's different. This is this has the additional, like, new stuff that he put in. Okay. Not, like, super new. He, he just made small tweaks, apparently. Right. And he was, like... You got a like, different neighbor to shade it. He's, like, yeah. He's, like, <laughs> see if you can figure it out. <laughs> Martha, you're in. Um, oh, Martha, I love you. They're place. actually, all of the neighbors who help him out are like his wife's friends. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, Okay, here we go. Yeah. And he's like, All right, hey, thanks, guys. You just finish this up for me. Thank you. Our hanging blimp is. I really like this one a lot. Um, <laughs> this place, place, I think it's in like Tokyo. It's the Tokyo area. Um, and we start off like in the now because we're going to go from like the present to the past. Yeah. We're going to explain how, how did we get here? What Let's happened? Go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. That's exactly <laughs> it. Oh, <laughs> a theme with our show. Hey. Yeah. Um, we see Kazuko, who is uh, shaking with terror as she's sitting by a desk in her room, and there's like a knocking on her window. And like she's basically, she's like, I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> and she mentions that, like, oh my gosh, I, like, if this is a dream, I wish I'd wake up. I've been in my house locked in for a week. I have no more food. Like, I'm going to die, basically. Yep. And she's like, but I can't go outside because if I do, that's the end. It's over. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that happen. And like, someone's calling to her. They're like, Kazuko, come on! Like, just open the window. It's great. Come oh, on, come on go. out. And she's like, Come well, on! I'm not falling for that. And she's like, So, how did we get here? Where did this all start? There's another story actually in that one which we almost did, but I so didn't like the ending <laughs> that I was like, I was like no. no, no, it was better without knowing. Mm -hmm. Like better it gives away in, in the beginning? No, what no, happened? no. Literally at the end, like there's like the last page reveal. I was like, oh, oh. Uh, that's not as no, cool as what I had that. in my head. Yeah. Damn. It usually is nuts. Yeah, but like the whole story is great up until that point. So wow. almost, maybe another time. <laughs> um, so anyway, she's thinking back to how this all began. Like where did this really start? And it starts with a suicide. Mm -hmm. Because. Because we're in the horror filled pages of Jinji. Oh, people, people be killing each other. Right. And, yeah, themselves. Yeah, and themselves. And themselves. Um, and the, this, this young lady, uh, Terumi Fujino, uh, is hanging outside of her window, like, hung by, like, a thick, seemingly, like, steel cord. Yeah, it's like the phone cords or whatever. Well, no, she's hanging from that, but, like, the cord itself is, is like, it's, it yeah, seems like it's... Like like steel it's, cable. Yeah. yeah. And, like, it's almost as though she wanted everyone to see her, her death, right? And, like, it turns out she was, like, I, I want to I call her an idol, but they don't use that specifically, an idol in... Like, yeah, like I assume she was like a pop star or something. Yeah, that's what an idol is. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, and she made her debut, and there's like this whole thing, like, like there's a whole culture to that where like mm. girls are like girls, guys, whatever. They're um, 
picked up by like an agency and then like they cultivate them and they train them and do all the stuff and then they have their debut where they're just like, ta-da, here I am and then... Right. They probably sing a song about how they're back. They're like, <laughs> back from where? It's back actually, from where you, were, like, you never left. Seriously, there's a lot of like stuff behind it where it's like most of these girls are so indebted to the company mm. that like... They're like slaves and they can never leave. Yeah. yeah. And like until they get, still get kicked out. So anyway, <laughs> she's got a rough yeah, time of six it. six months. Yeah. There. You're, you're done. You're done. Um, but Kazuko and Terumi were friends. They were in school, school. together. They were classmates. So, like, this hit her particularly hard, yes. right? And a lot of people said that Terumi had, like, a lot of, like, anxiety and, like, was struggling with her job, like, being in this entertainment industry. Fair. So there's, like, a funeral for her. There's, like, uh, it, it, you know, outside there are, like, thralls of her fans, like, t trying desperately to get in. It's very real. Mm. Yeah, it's like they're having those, like there's family and friends in the actual funeral and outside are all these people who are just like... Her adoring fans. Yeah, but like they're disruptive and like it, yes. you feel for these people. Yeah. Kazuko's like headed home after the funeral with her friends and like they're like, oh man, like there's Shiraishi. Yeah, Shiraishi. And like he was Chirumi's boyfriend. But right, like... In school. In like, school. Like they were, they were together and whether or not they're like seemingly... Well, they suggested that like they got together in school and she ne they never really broke up. Yeah, and so like... There's technically, that's technically still her boyfriend, and so right. the, her, like... They were going steady. Yes. Yeah, her fan club, her literal fan club shows up, and they're like, this is all your fault. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, my understanding, or our understanding is you didn't like the debut. They did all this, like, creepy research mm -hmm. on him. Yes. And he's like... That's very real, too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it I'm is. Like, and, like, he's just real. like, I just lost, like, my girlfriend, friend, whatever. Yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. these guys are like, it's all your fault. Right. You they're killed blaming him. him. Yeah. So, like, yeah. And so they guilty. literally, not only are they blaming him, then they start beating on him. Yes. Yep. And Kazuko likes like, hey, there are cops all over this place today. Yeah. All I have to do is yell. Right. Knock it off. And they're like, <laughs> no, we'll see you next time. Don't you forget. Yeah. And they're like, holy crap. We showed him. Hell? Yeah. Yeah. And since and for what you've told us about the Sailor Moon fandom, uh, that's pretty realistic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like when the creator was like, okay, I'm done. And they're like, you're done when I say you're done. Yeah. You will die. Yeah. And it's like, She's it's, like, fair enough. These guys, are, these guys are total otakus. <laughs> 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 It's for you, Princess Jellyfish fan. <laughs> Kazuko uh, goes home, and I love this, like, I love the way that Ito, like, blends, like, because almost all the stories take place in Japan, Japan. obviously. Yeah. Uh, occasionally we'll travel other places, but mostly it's in Japan, and so we get that hint at, like, their culture as well, yeah. and their beliefs, and so when she comes home, her mom's like, oh, hang on a second, and she sprinkles salt, and there's, like, a note at the bottom that's like, they do this <laughs> after like someone comes from a funeral so that it prevents spirits from following them into their house. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's, that's, that's fun. Thank that's you for delightful. that. Thank you. I, I didn't even notice the, the 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 annotation, but I was like, right on. They probably uh, that's very that's just a thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Why not? Japanese is like annotation we got in the stories. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he does Were not there more? Did I miss those? No. He does not. He's like, no. Whatever. This is my culture. Yeah. I can imagine the American Sailor Moon like, very much in the back. It's like, hey. You might be wondering what the hell's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, then there's like a news report, and what I like about I've seen this a lot in Ito's work, where like he doesn't want to name a park because it's like he doesn't want to 100 percent make it real. Yeah, mm -hmm. or he wants he wants it to be it could be your hometown right. exactly. Right. So it's like this guy's like I'm standing at a certain park, like it's like it could be any park. Mm -hmm. And know? maybe there's like a there's like in Japanese language there is like a word that means like a certain park. Sure. And like the American translator is like. <laughs> right, but I've, I, I, I've seen it in other works as well, where it's mm. like he's avoiding yes. saying yeah. where it is or what it is in particular. This is the one where, um, for me, the, like you didn't need to read any dialogue to get the story. Like just in general, it was very. It was because the, the dialogue was just it was just utilitarian. It gets you to the next page. It gets you to the next panel. Yeah, the characters was like, I am the bereaved boyfriend, and I am bereaved. Like I am the police, and I am policing. Like it's yeah. just very stock. Yeah, but like in that kind of way where I'm telling you a story, and you know, it's just it was well, funny. I was like, oh, that's well, what neat. I what I like about that is like there, like he is lure like. Like yeah, luring you into like this like sense of modernity, right, like yeah. where it's just like this is very simple and normal. Okay, cool. But I know yeah. it's not yeah. because I'm reading yeah. a Junji Ito story. Right. But it started with suicide, and we don't forget that Pulp Fiction opening. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. people were frozen in place, and one person breaks apart into stone. This one, like halfway through, you see a hand coming out of yeah. someone's mouth. Yeah, this one's a slow. This burn. is just. Yeah. Oh, someone committed suicide. And people oh, are pretty upset. upset about it. Oh, it's sad. There's probably going to be ghosts. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, right? You're oh, thinking. shit, not ghosts. So yeah, like, like she's going to come home one time and forget the salt. Yeah. Yeah. I will tell you this. I did not see this coming. <laughs> How could you? Well, because what? no one's ever done that. I definitely That's... I don't, never will again. I was all on, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. like, oh. Got it. That's the twist. Yep. No way. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> we talk about Ethan has this dream every night. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, great. Um. So... 
we found out from the news reporter that like after Turumi died, a lot of young people started doing copycat suicides. Suicides, and so like it's kind of become an issue. And like there have also been like seemingly appearances of her ghost. Yes. And like so, he interviews two dudes who were just like, "I saw the ghost." Yeah, he's like, "Have you seen the ghost?" Like, "Yeah, we totally have." And he's like, "It was over there." He's like, "Tell me about it." And they're like, "Okay, I saw it way up there." And he's like, "Up there?" He's like, what in, now? The, "In the sky?" <laughs> yeah. It's a sky ghost. Sky ghost. That's and right. he's like, "Yeah, it was just her face." He's like, "Her face?" <laughs> His buddy's like, "Yeah, it was just her from the neck up." And like earlier, we'd established that because of the like thick metal cable that had been used that she used to hang herself, when she fell out the window and got caught, it seemingly it like almost wrenched her neck from or her head from her body yes and so like they're like oh maybe that's maybe it is a ghost yeah. maybe this is like we're dealing with like a grudge mm. like oh she's upset yeah. the boyfriend did kill her maybe the fan club's totally right yeah he yeah. pushed her to do it oh but like as more people are seeing the ghost like fans of hers are becoming like crazed and when they see her they pass out like they're just so like oh my god it's her yeah, yeah. right and, and the like, company that, that that uh managed her was like we <laughs> You got print money. Oh, and beautiful beautiful like, money. But this is a hoax. <laughs> right. Yeah. Most people are like, this must be a hoax. There must yeah. be fewer people than I expected. Yeah. Nice hysteria, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But like, Dogs and cats they, living together. <laughs> well, they talked to that guy. They talked to a doctor who was obviously just like, it's clearly like, you know, it's a, it's a psycho, so like, somatic like response to yep. things and like, or a psychological like breakdown and like, it's mass hysteria. People are together and yep. like, obviously, like, they're just mourning because like, yeah. this is a tragic event yeah, that happened. Yeah, they put Look, everybody One thinks they see in their something. Own way. Right. Yeah. And then a photo shows up. Yeah. And someone and, took a picture of it. And then it's like a photo. And then like, I mean, still you're like, but. Well, you can Photoshop that. Well, because you don't know, because Ido doesn't always tell you when it's taking place, you're yeah, like, does like Photoshop more... exist? Right. right. I don't know. Like, it's pretty distinct. It's it like, that's a, a friggin' head. Could be a double exposure. Yeah. I mean, you don't need Photoshop. They had UFO pictures in like the No, it's true. Yeah. But they were very unconvincing. It's like literally, it's a like a head floating yeah. over like part of the city, right? Yep. And I love they're on talk show too. Another example of Ito being like, there are talk shows obviously in Japan, and they would do this type of thing. But I'm not gonna name one. It's, no, it's, right. who cares? It's the one you watch, you know, yeah. the one, the one, know, the talk show, the one that you watch. All the idiots. At whatever time period that you're reading this. Yeah. Yep. And so, like, essentially, like, more people see her, and they also see that, like, at where her neck is, it's like a zigzag pattern. Yeah. Yeah, like, as like though it was, like it was ripped from her yeah. torso. Yeah. And you're like, oh, man, it's definitely her ghost. Yeah, yeah. and like yeah. everyone's talking about it at school, and they're like, I think it's a ghost. I think it's a trick. I, whatever, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So Kazuko checks in with Shirashi, and she's like, hey, what's up? And he's like, she's like, do you believe it? Right. And he's like, yeah, because like she literally popped up in my backyard. And like her head was just sitting in my backyard. He's, and she's like, you're just tired. You didn't see anything. Because she hasn't seen anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. she's just like, no. No. Yeah, um, I've been tired before. <laughs> yeah. Like, a seen... lot. I'm pretty sure you have, too. Yeah. And you didn't see any friggin' heads, yeah. did you? But no. she's, I guess she's like, but you're also bereaved. Yes. And you're exhausted. Have you not slept for three days? Because I know someone who didn't sleep for three days. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't uh, see heads. But it got... Some other stuff did. <laughs> it got weird, though. <laughs> still this doesn't weird. really help my case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, oh, this also isn't the Junji Ito, like, graphic novel universe. <laughs> or the manga-verse. Where there it's are... Like, these all happen in the same world. <laughs> there are some stories <laughs> that... cross like, over. That yeah. are, like... Oh, that's like cool. they're all in the same. There's like three that are all within like the same. These the same character. Mm. And I think Yuji's used someplace else too, but I can't okay. remember. Mm. I this one guy's like, why does this keep happening to me? Ah, no. Most time it's not like Tomi. Like Tomi's a recurring character, but like there's like you can also just pick up Tomi and read the mm. book. But it, like he wrote it over the years. Okay. I want Yuji to show up, but it's Dream Yuji, and he's a much better writer than regular Yuji was. <laughs> yeah, he's like you know. What a hack. <laughs> he's at like the ja the Japanese. I guess the Kinokuniya. Yes. Yeah, and he's like signing books. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you're kind of a weird inside out person, but hey, you read a hell of a manga. Yeah. This made me cry. <laughs> she gets a call, or like she's from called a from a boy. It's oh. her, her sister's like, or her brother, boy. whatever. Yeah. Her mom? Her sibling. I thought it was her mom. I thought it was her sister. No, it's his hey yeah. sis. Oh, sister. There you go. Hey sis phone. It's a boy. It's a boy. I won't tell mom or dad. Yeah, and, and they're like, she takes the phone and it's, it's Shiraishi, and, and, and like, he's like, hey, you gotta come over here. Like, Tarumi's appearing and she's moving slowly over the sky and if you get to this point you'll be able to see her and she's like not right like basically nah, I think she's I going think you're trying to get me out so that we can go out okay. no I think she, like she's gonna go because she's like I'm gonna go and I'm not gonna see anything and then like I'm gonna have to help like get him yeah. the help that he needs yeah. like so, I can finally prove it to him like right no nope, I didn't see a head yep so like she sneaks out of the house and like she's like you know what like 
maybe he's just teasing me because he's not here either. And then she like looks and she sees the head. Yes. And there it is floating along. And she's like, okay. Like it's not a picture. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she's like, I'm that's, that's Tarumi. And then she's like, has a moment where she's like, I really thought if I ever saw a ghost, it would be different yes. than this. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Because you fair. are correct. Most people, if they ever did, would not, would not expect, expect this. this. Then, a giant she, in the sky. then she sees Shirashi and he's like up in a tree hey. and like reaching out for Tarumi. He's like, hey, hey, like come over here. <laughs> and she's like, uh, and like, <laughs> Tarumi has like this like really like judgmental or like unfeeling apathetic like face on like she's just not like resting bitch face but like mm. and like he's like don't look at me like that don't like don't give me crap all right like it's not like forgive me it's not my fault yeah and then he's like reaching out for her and like Kazuka looks up and there's like a noose and she's like oh my god is he gonna kill himself right she's like don't do it like stop like don't just don't do it and like he falls into it and it catches him and she's like oh my god like, great. Now, like, two of my classmates have died, and I've got to get someone, like, some help, because maybe we can, maybe we can lift him up. Yeah. Maybe we'll lift him up and we can save him. And then all of a sudden, there's, like, this rustling sound, and the body starts to move, and she looks up, and there's Shirashi's face with the, with the noose hanging from it, like a balloon. This was the turn I was not expecting. <laughs> I thought her ghost was going to kill other people because of her suicide. Yeah. She's yeah. like, now I just go around and make other people hang themselves yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly no. what he wants you to think. What yeah. the hell? Yeah. Yeah. So she's like watching this what? all happen because then what happens next is Tarumi's balloon. And then it gets weird. And then it gets weird. And then Shirashi's balloon with his hanging corpse dangling from the bottom like float into one another into a passionate kiss. Yep. And like his body's like, like Yeah, it's just like it's like a marionette. Yeah. Kazuko goes to the cops. Yes. She's like, this is what happened. And he's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. She's mm, like, come on, I'll show you, down. I'll show you. I'll write that on my invisible typewriter. <laughs> yeah. So she takes she takes the cop to where it happened. And she's like, look. And he's like, uh-huh. Nope. No heads. She's like, they were here. Oh, okay. Uh, I know how this looks. I'm gonna go home. Yep. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go. She's like, I love that like little balloon where it's just like the police didn't believe me. And it's like no shit. Yeah, no. Nah, surprising. I... Who? Yeah, yeah. Just her. <laughs> so, Kazuko has like told her friends about this, right? Yep. And like some of them, like they're all like, I think you're lying. And she's like, No, no, hear me out. Like I know you don't believe me, but like, come on. <laughs> so like, she pieces together that Tarumi was strangled as well yes but that she didn't kill herself that her balloon must have come for her and then it got tangled in the wires and it snapped off which is why her neck is all ragged yeah Yeah, it's shredded because like the physical floating head had the bottom part of it torn off yeah 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 Yeah. so she's like that was like our clue that this was happening sure whatever this is Mm -hmm. right and they're like that's the clue you jumped to (laughs) yeah what yeah and they're all just like so she's like, you know, so like now, like, you know, she's basically like Shirashi's face has his body, you know, Termi says none. And her friend's like, that's kind of creepy. Kind of? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. And so then, You're like, weird. they all kind of. We should hang out with you. <laughs> yeah, right? They're all walking home still. Then oh, what's her name? Not Kazuko? Kazuko. Oh, Kazuko, you're so inventive. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could be as creative as you. Ah. Uh. So then one of her friends, like, looks skyward, and there's, like, these, like, four... Things in the sky. Like, silhouetted shapes in the sky. And they're like, what, what is that? What, 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 what is that? Looks like... Oh, maybe How come it's, we haven't seen any of these before? Maybe it's balloons that, like... Right. For, like, an, like an advertiser? Maybe they got mm. loose? Mm-hmm. Huh? And they're like, is that something hanging from the bottom of them? <laughs> Are those human faces? I love one, the one that's glasses, like, hmm... Yes, those definitely look like something hanging from the bottom and has a loop on it. And then they get slightly closer and it's like, those are our faces. Yeah. Those are all group. of our faces. Mm-hmm. Yep. Coming for us. And then it's, it, the other ones are very passive, like, hey, I'm just floating around. These are like, let's go! Yeah. And you're just like, no, and what's like high them speed? Now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very fast. I love one of them's like, why are our faces? <laughs> Two of them are taken off the table immediately. Yep. Kazuko yep. and her glasses wearing friend, her be- he sp- bespectacled friend. Um, get away, yes. right? They make a run for it, but the balloons are chasing them, yep. and it's horrific looking. Yeah. Yep, because like, they're like, they're like, they're delighted. Ah! They're demented. They're, yeah, demented. they're demented, and demented like, looking. they're just way into it, so they, they duck down an alley. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you <laughs> in the news. I'm gonna get you in the news. <laughs> they duck, the two of them duck down an alley, and like, the balloons are like, above looking yeah, down the like, hey, hey. Yeah, leave the alley sometimes. <laughs> yeah. 
Whoa. So basically, like, you know, her friend's like, what are we going to do? And, like, her friend's, like, balloon tries to get her. It, like, shoots the, the, noose. the noose, noose out at her. It can, like, it's manipulate like, the noose. Well, it's like yeah. a, um, an appendage. Yeah. yeah. It's like a prehensile tail. Yeah. yeah. Prehensile, prehensile noose. It's, <laughs> so it shoots it out. <laughs> it, it can't quite get the. It doesn't yeah. have the length, and so she's okay. Ah, I almost got you. There's, like, a dude who, like, sticks his head out the window, and he's like, what's happening? <laughs> and they're like, look! And he's like, oh, shit! So he runs away, and you're like... Thanks. And Thanks. he comes back with a crossbow. Yep. He's like, I got this, girls. I knew this crossbow would come in handy. Finally! Yes. Finally. It's my, now is my hour. <laughs> my wife said this was a stupid purchase. I'm going to show her uh. it's worth every yen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. So he shoots the balloon of the glasses wearing friend. And they're all like, hooray, we've done it. Like, it's like deflates. Like, yeah, and it's pops like, out the cheek. It's yeah. like really creepy looking as it yeah. goes down. Yeah. Right. It's just like, and it's like, Arr! and then she's like, yay, we did it. Kozuko looks over and her friend's face has deflated as well. Right. In the same fashion that the balloon did. And her friend is dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, it's like, it's, she's just laying there. Mm -hmm. Her body is totally fine. Yep. Her head is just shriveled. Her glasses are on the ground. Kazuko just runs away. She's like, I don't even remember what happened. All I know is I got home. Right. And when I got home, my mom, my brother, oh, yeah, it is her brother. Mm -hmm. My mom, my brother, and my mom, and my dad's balloons are waiting outside their house. And, like, here comes mine. Yeah. Yep. So she runs in the house, and she's like, okay. And it's balloons everywhere. At this yeah, point. now yeah, it's like, balloons for days. It's, it's balloon like, city. Guys filled with balloons. Yep. yep. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> no. And they like, don't talk. They don't say anything. No. Nope. I love the news reporter. Is like you know. So this is happening. This is life now. There's a bunch of scary balloons in the sky. Um, if you have to travel anywhere, do so in a car. Right. It's a very realistic news report. Yeah. It's like, I, I believe mine is right outside right now. <laughs> it's right outside the building. Yep, yep, there it is. Yep. yep. He looks thrilled. Waiting for me. I've been in here for days. How yep. come no one told me my ears look like that? Thanks a lot, everybody. Yep. The family's watching this. Costco's family is watching it. And then her dad's like, well, I got to get to work. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> the point which I laughed out loud. The old, the old grindstone's not going to turn itself. Yeah. <laughs> what? invaluable job does he do that he has to do like i have to make sure the entire country he's just, runs he's just like i have this one switch if i if i don't hit it right. the entire country goes down he's like, work no. for spacely sprockets is, is this an analogy for covid <laughs> it's like no, oh is... i can't let this change my life yeah. i gotta go to work it becomes one <laughs> yeah. i think it's probably like a critique of the like japanese yep. work ethic yes yep. because yep. he's like well you know come hell or high I've water or like you know like floating head versions of me. Yeah. Yep. Killer balloons. Yep. Don't I, worry, I've got to figure. I got a solution. And then he does. He's like, they're like, you don't go outside. He's like, no, no I got this. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's a short distance from here to the car. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my arm. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Oh, you figured it out. You cracked yeah. the case. Don't gonna, worry. I just. I won't let it get me. Yeah. I'll just protect my neck. Right? That's what all y'all yeah. are doing Look, wrong. Yeah, exactly. Everybody. Yeah. If I protect my neck, I can't get home. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So he's, he's like, he goes inside, he's like, I'll be back around six, have the bath ready for me, honey, I'll see you later. And he makes a run for it, and here comes his balloon. Yep. He's like, oh, and his he's balloon like, it's just, fine. Oh, I got my plan. And his balloon just wraps around his chest and snaps his back. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh, I don't need to do your neck. <laughs> I, you you know, thought we were just hanging you? No, that was the easy way. That's just we convenient. Just yeah. My goddamn yeah. death balloon with a friggin' sentient noose. What do you... What do you, what do you, what do you <laughs> we thought, thought there were rules. There are no rules. What's your problem? Yeah, and he honestly does look delighted, almost like he's just like, oh, you thought... Yeah. Mm. I love that you thought you could get away. <laughs> I got yeah. you. <laughs> nah, I got you. Guys, guys, I got mine. Yeah. Quick, quick. Look what he's doing. He's trying to, 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 to block the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a steel cable, man. What do you do with your arms? No, no, I just don't know. It's magic death. So we stick with the family. The family's very upset. Obviously, dad's dead. Yep. Mom is just shut down. Yeah. She's that's useless. Fair. Yeah. And, her, and Katsuko's brother's like, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, we are, what, well, we can't stay here forever because we're going to run out of food. Oh, yeah. food. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll I should go get, get food. I, I have go. a great idea. It's the same plan. I will leave. <laughs> I will leave. <laughs> but, but, but my plan is somehow simultaneously smarter and dumber all at the yeah. same time. And that, I see, what he failed was he did the thing. Yeah. What I'm going to do is, don't worry, I got this. I'm going to bring an umbrella with me. I'm like, all right. So he takes oh, the umbrella, so... and as the noose comes down, he throws it at them. It deploys. <laughs> And his balloon's noose wraps around the umbrella, thus buying him some time. Caught. I saw yeah. the point on the umbrella. I thought he was going to try to pop, pop it. the balloon. Yeah. Like, no, no, you no, already, don't pop it. You already covered this, man. So yeah. here's where he fails. Dad clearly has a car. Yeah. Get in the car. Nope. Yeah. Timmy, uh, he had I the thought keys. he was going to get He's in the 14. Car. He can't drive yet. <laughs> yeah, just get in the car. Get in the car. Yeah. yeah. No. no, he makes a run for it. 
where are you running? And like to, the food. to, to get food. Yeah, I gotta go run to the a store. mile down the street. It's fine. <laughs> Should so, be able to make it about seven minutes. I think. I think I got this. Dad, yeah. Dad only had thirty seconds, but yeah, I think I got. It. Yeah, well, I got the. I threw the umbrella. I got the umbrella plan. So you know his like you know the brother's um, balloon is working its way through the umbrella, and that's the yeah. last that we ever see. Yeah. and and his and, and her it mom just like chomps down on the umbrella. Yeah, yeah. It slices just, through it the fabric. Right through it. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, and so it's like now it's just the two ladies in the house, yeah. and like a week goes by, and like. This is really sad because, like, we don't see this happen, and I'm kind of glad because we, we yeah. see the two guys acting ridiculously. <laughs> yep. But, like, Kazuko's like, so, like, a week went by, and, like, we were like we were running out of food, and, like, more and more bodies are seen in the sky, yep. and, like, the balloons are unending, and they're, they're still here. And, like, inevitably, like, my mom, just her fear went out, and she just went outside. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, you just see her hanging there. And so she's like, now I'm alone. Yep. And, like, she's like... And I can hear my balloon outside. Now they're talking. Yes. Yeah. It's gotten worse. It's, pro- it's progressed. <laughs> it's something I learned. Yeah. yeah. But then she hears her brother, who's like, come on, open the, like, open the, the window. I'm, I got I'm right here. I got, yeah, I made it back. Like, you know, hey, is mom okay? Like, sorry, it took so long. Like, saying all the right things. Yeah. yeah. And, like, she immediately is like, oh, my God. Because when it was her balloon, she was like, no, that's me. Right. But when it's her, her brother, she's like, he might have made it back. Yeah. And she, she even sees his body. She sees, like, like a yeah. silhouette of yeah. a body. Yeah. yeah. And so like, she, oh. like, and, like, he's got, like, his arms out. So it's like, oh, okay. Maybe he is fine. So she opens the yeah, window. Yeah, he ain't holding food bags, though. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. Um, and what she finds is his body is there. And, like, his arms have been propped up on the umbrella that was stuck in the noose. Yeah. And, like... You know, the, her balloon brother is like, you know, hey, thanks for opening the window, and you see her balloon. Yep, coming yep. swoop her. in from the back, yeah. And yep. that's that. This came to him because of a dream. Oh. When he was a young child, he had a dream where he was in an airport, and a clay figure of a woman's torso with a rope dangling came down and hung him. Yeah, oh. that's what. <laughs> God damn, man. So yeah. when he was like a little kid, like like a really little kid, like he lived in a house where in order to go to the bathroom, you had to go in this like underground hallway <laughs> tunnel thing. Oh, and so like sweet. with like skeleton arms coming out. Yeah. Of so like he had to go downstairs and the door would always be slightly open mm. and it would just be like the darkness right. facing him. And like he never could do it on his own. He had to always had to go have someone go with him. And so like he posits that potentially the reason he's drawn to horror, other than like when he was five, he started reading horror manga, uh, and so like he grew up on it. Well, was that because he's do he's too. afraid of things? He's afraid of the dark. He's like I think everybody's afraid of the dark to some degree. Mm. And he's like, and those who are truly afraid of things tend to be attracted to horror. He's like I think that's why I'm attracted to mm. horror. And like I thought that was interesting because like he also has mentioned that like it's scarier to glimpse something. Then it is to see it, and if you're making horror manga, you're faced with it. You're faced yes. with these fears as opposed mm. to just glimpsing it. Like to see something out of the corner of your eye is scarier than facing it. Yeah. Right, right. The hook, line, and sinker—the one I enjoyed the most and found the most meaning from—was obviously the most western of the of the three. Uh, so I enjoyed the Earthbound. Earthbound. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Uh, they, the protagonist gets away, presumably. Uh, so it's like you know, I'm yeah. Pleased. There's some joy at the end. <laughs> yeah. there's, some, there's some escape from the yeah. end. It's a, it only afflicts those who deserve it. That's right. another thing that kind of factors into it. Yeah. Um, and and it's a little bit more. You know, it is more like Amigara in, in respect of like it happens to people and it's sudden and you know. Yeah. And, and it doesn't have to everyone. You know, like the other one. You know. Uh, the there's, there's a reason for it, right? And, and yet it's as, explicable. It's like uh, as much as there can be. Yeah, yeah there is a <laughs> reason. There's like, oh, I understand what's happening. And I like and it's caused, and it's a mystery. Yeah, and it was like, like and, and it she out. thinks she solved it, and then it turns out she didn't, but for a good reason. So that's my good. Uh, as far as these two are concerned, you know, one is absurd versus one is kind of banal. Like, you know, I turned myself inside out. I was kind of like, well, that's it. Like. <laughs> You know, I mean, that sucks. That's weird. It's scary for her, like for the for the female protagonist in uh-huh. that story, because she didn't ask for it. And that's yeah. too bad. Um, <laughs> Sometimes you don't. Sometimes horror just yeah. happens. And that sucks, I guess. Uh, you know, are, you, but, are you literally safe? She literally got roped into it. She did. She got. She, oh, you, 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 you roped, you roped yourself into this. Actually, she really she tied did. herself. Yeah, to these it. guys, everybody get roped. Oh, they. You know, but uh, literally get ro- little ropes. Don't look um, at me like that. <laughs> I, I I guess like if I had to go between the two of them, this one at least is achieving something. Uh, I don't like it, but it's like <laughs> it's deliberate and it's like that's my hang up, obviously. So craft. Like excellent this is excellent. I also hate it and I don't want it. Like, you know, it's like the whole world's fucked. Lol, isn't that crazy and great? Don't you enjoy that? No. Uh, but like everyone else who does, like they're like, it's a, it's a triumph. So I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not uh, gonna say no no, but like, but like the other one's like, eh, you turn yourself inside out. Like the cops shoot you in the face, the story's over. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. He's, it's not like he, he's going to infect the, 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 you know what I mean? Like everyone's insecurities or, or, or emptiness will consume. You know, it doesn't imply at the end that like, this is like an affliction of the human yeah, condition. Yeah, this is happening everywhere. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, this right. one, everything's happening everywhere. And it's like, okay. Okay. Like you, can make yeah. a, you can make a Black Mirror episode on it or something. <laughs> All right. Like, yeah, so I guess this is the ugly for me, but okay. like, not really. It's, right. it's actually more straightforward than this one, which is like, what are you even doing? <laughs> But like, but I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit from the balloon. You're not going so to. No, because here's the, the thing. Balloon here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I hope say it's I, bad. I hope all of our commenters keep this in mind. Horror is such so, a personal and subjective absolutely. topic. Absolutely, I expect it all to be different. And like that's for all of you. and that, and I feel like I I hope I selected enough like across the board. Like right. it's different you, you styles of horror it is. that we selected. Yeah. There's so much more, and I'm starting to feel like if we ever do a part two of this, I'm gonna up the ante. Mm. But that's why you don't see those upped antes here because where would I go next? Right. Yeah. Wow. And apparently there is places to go. Yeah, this one's, I'm looking at you, happens, Greece. Horror happens to someone else. <laughs> horror happens to one person. Horror happens to everyone. It's yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. This one though, this one kind of reminds me of, of, of because this it's one, because it is happening all over the place. Yes, yeah. but it doesn't happen to everyone yeah. literally. So it's but it's kind of cool because they're both like uh, there's this thing, there's this event. Yes, there's yes. this this, this you can't deny happening yep. in the world. Like everything's changed now. Yes, here the world's over. Here it's it's not right. But, yeah, yeah. So this is a more extreme version. This one's like very different to me uh, in in that it's just like. This random thing that happens to one guy, to one guy, and yeah. he accidentally sort of drags somebody else into yeah. his horror yes. with him. That and that's probably that's probably my failing because I did pick two event ones, and I'm like I was I, 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 I wanted to do this one so one, badly, and yeah. this one was so different in its tone. Yeah. But he does tell a lot of smaller stories where it affect an individual or a small group of people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, there was a contender for this. I almost went with it. Really, just affects a, a small group of people. But I was like, right. let's go with this yeah. one. And people I mean, will know this one more. Thematically, they all, you know, they, they all have something to say about the human. You know, it's like, oh yeah, yeah. it's this one's like, you know, you, if you're empty inside, you'll drag people in down with you. This one's like, don't like get into the hype of pop stars and crap. Like you'll Some, you, like, guess. your culture. Be aware of fame. Yeah, like your culture will friggin' have. I don't. You I don't know. This one I don't know if it has any subtext because yeah. a lot of what he does sometimes is really just like it's a what if statement. Yeah. Like he'll see something or he'll think about something. And he's like. Like, oh, oh, what? How would this work? Yeah, he's yeah. not trying to talk yeah. about like the human condition. But this yeah, one's yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, that one very much like, is. This, yeah, yeah. This, the message is very in your face. In this this one. one does have the critique though of like workforce yes. in Japan. Yeah, like, well, very, work well, and different very briefly, of work. like cause I, it's like I feel like there's there's multiple things happening in this book, and yes. I was a little, I, I should not have read the commentary at the end because <laughs> then it's just like yeah, I had a dream once where this happened. I was like oh, oh fuck you. Was but I just reading all this stuff into it? Yeah. Or did you go the commentaries on these are so short. I think there's more to it. But yeah. like they, they like only gave away like, like a small bit of page. There too. has to be because like it starts with a pop star who has apparently hung herself. Yes, uh -huh. and you get the 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 franticness of the fans and the boyfriend who maybe was critiquing her job. And yeah. his guilt is obviously in in tow because like he does. Like try and reach the head. Well, he probably has some so guilt, but I'm gonna guess responsible. after he ran into the fans, it yeah. like got in there. Like he was just like, oh, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have said that thing right. at one time. Right. Like, him. Well, it's, he assumes like that is his fault. He's just like, I'm sorry. Like, please forgive me. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also, like maybe it's kind of the world's fault because they're they're put, piling all this pressure on onto this children, onto yeah. to this star. So that's why she she did it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then you find out like no, no one's that wasn't doing it. At all. It's just getting you. Yeah. There's this actually what it is is there's this epidemic of people being hung. So then I'm thinking, like, oh, is this, like, a commentary on, like, mass suicides? Yes. Or, like, the rash of suicides, because they do mention there's copycat yep. suicides, which is a real thing. Unless they're not, and with just they thought they were copycats, but really they were their heads. But those were just hung in a forest. There was nothing attached to Yeah, I think to some them. of them actually oh. were. People would have noticed right. that. So right. there's right. actually, there's, yeah. like, a, that tragedy as well. And, I mean, like, yeah. there are mass suicides everywhere, but, of course, we know quite, like, that it does happen in Japan. Yeah, yeah in Like, Japan, suicide it's... does, it happens, a yes. real thing. And to youth especially, yes. young yes. people, the pressures of life uh, yeah. caught. So then I thought, like, oh, maybe it's, like, kind of, a, like, a commentary on that. I think he's, like, I think he's, maybe like. Maybe it is. I think it's, like, a little bit of a shotgun of, like, issues that are going on. Yeah. Maybe it was at the forefront. things that matter to me, man. And it's also, it's a slightly longer story. So got a little a more time, time to, to, to it also it. could be a little misdirection of being like yeah they think it's this right it's not oh yeah, yeah. you think you're getting a ghost story yeah I no just, you kind of do but, but it's not, not, really not quite yeah, yeah it's like a demon story it's I don't even know what to call thing. it yeah yeah i don't know so yeah. but what are you guys so for me i my i think the one i liked the most was the floating head one uh because despite the fact that reading at the end that it was based on a dream he had yeah 
it seemed like there was a lot of commentary Subtext. on the the culture. Yeah. And I thought that was kind of cool. And I liked the the mystery, the mm -hmm. misdirection. Yeah. I thought I knew where it was going. And then it was like, it was kind of cool. And I was like, oh no, like her body was like ripped off of the thing. And then I started thinking about it more. And I'm like, why, well, why was her head like all this like the this moping like dead head, but the other ones are like this like attack and it, maybe it's because like it was destroyed yeah. by mm. the bottom being ripped. So I'm like, oh, it all kind of makes sense actually right. in a weird way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like fascinating to me. And then you have like the, the horror element is both like the heads are obviously horrific and are attacking you, but also you have the the slow drawn out horror of like, well, what do you do? Yeah. yeah. Like you're How do you escape the inescapable? And like you're losing people one by one. Yep. Yeah. And it's, yeah, the inevitability of right. death coming mm -hmm. for not just you but for the whole world so it's apocalyptic yeah it's almost a uh you know what if the nukes flew kind of thing yeah and there's a few survivors left but like what are they supposed to do yeah yeah just wait the world's still over exactly. yeah yeah so I, I i liked all that it was it was uh it was kind of cool yeah yeah so that so was my good that's your good my i think i think my uh ugly just just because I liked it the least was the the Inside Out one. The Den of the Sleep Demon. Yeah, <laughs> it, there was an obvious like allegory for sure. like I'm hollow inside. Yeah, uh, you know. Well, and, like we we use people. Like if you're if you're that empty, like you tend to use people, and so like she was inevitably going to be sucked in, and you yeah, know, it's like I get that, and it's like you become. And if you if you're empty too long, you become like this twisted, inverted version of yourself. It's yeah, like, that just takes, and it's like yeah, but then at the end. He actually did become like a thing, right? And like, a, like a sleep demon. I'm like, well, what is that? Yeah, well, he didn't know. become anything. It's his dream. Well, self. his dream. The self demon is out. out. Yeah, yeah. But like, are they re like? He says she's his intestine. Like, is that like literal, or is that like just representative? Re representative because you're inside of me. And like, is that a dream world? Like, or is it just like I'm calling it that, but really you're dead? Like, it's a little vague. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and and just like not much, not much happened there. Yeah, uh, I didn't get a lot. Where this one like. I felt like I got a fair amount. This one was close to me to, to this one in terms yeah. of good. Like it was, it was very cool. I was, I was following along with the story. I was yeah. interested in what yeah. was happening, and and I again there was a twist, and I kind of liked mm -hmm. where it went. And uh, I also liked that, like, like you said, like the people like made it at the yeah. end. Like not everyone died. <laughs> humanity yeah. isn't over. Like yeah. the Anagara Fault one. Like that, they don't, they don't all. Humanity's not ruined. Presumably. Not everyone goes in. Yeah. yeah. Until they find another fault. Right. Yeah. Right. Presumably, it does yeah. pr seemingly spread. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you don't see the fall of humanity. Yeah. <laughs> Quite uh, yeah, the same. But, like and, and yeah. 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 And they transform. Right. Uh. So each of these for me had. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, that was it. So good, bad, ugly. For okay. Me. Each of these had a different quality for me. So I like this one because it's body horror. Like mm. it shows you something horrific. It's true. And it makes you cringe as to what is going on. Mm -hmm. Because like seeing this happen to someone, especially watching her deal with it, yeah. is more horrific than just watching him. If he was alone in his it's room, like, it, maybe it's it mental. Sucks, like, but having knows? her be there to be a witness. Yeah, she grounds worse. it, she makes it real. And the fact that she tries to hold on, she's like, No, I care about you enough. Like you care like you told me that you like me. Either she feels responsible to help him, or she also likes him too, and mm -hmm. that's why she ties herself to him, and it gets dragged into it. Which, yes, you can definitely make an allegory for that with like relationships, like yeah. tying yourself to someone who really is like uh, not abusive, yeah. but um, feeds off of others yes. and doesn't have anything else to give to it mm -hmm. can be problematic. Yeah, um, I like <laughs> this one because. It is more of a complete story. Like you get more of the beginning, middle, end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talk. Which one are you pointing? Uh, at? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Earthbound. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, you're getting the end, the protagonist from the outside, who something happened to her, and she has a connection to the story, but it also doesn't directly affect her. She doesn't become earthbound from right. it. Mm -hmm. But everyone who's in it is being bound because of their feeling of guilt. They have done something in their life to deserve it. Like you said, it's much more of a Western story. Mm -hmm. It felt like, yeah, it felt more like, when I say Western, I just mean like basic, I guess. Is the thing. No, 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 no. This one is, there's like a melancholy to this one. Yeah. True. Mm. He does that occasionally, you know? Like mm -hmm. there's just like, this is like, this is a sad state. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, it's, this one's really, I think like very much like something that people can relate to. Everyone has 
like experienced guilt of mm -hmm. some degree, yes. you know what I mean? And so like, I think this is more approachable just because of yeah, the, totally. the nature of it. Yeah. And it's cause and effect. Right. There's logic behind it. Yeah. We think we know why it's happening and then we find out actually why it's happening. Yep. We go, oh, okay, yeah. that's horrific. But at the same time, kind of deserve right like, yeah. there's there's a there's a there's a morality in there yeah. whether it's you know it's deserve just... and at least explain yes like the why I get it. whether or not you deserved it yes yeah, i of... also just understand the cause yes <laughs> i right. don't understand the cause here it's very different <laughs> yeah. it's just like well you're done humanity's done and i want to make it really weird well that's the great yeah. thing about this one is that this one has so many twists to it i kept <laughs> thinking i knew what was going on <laughs> right. like, and i no kept way. finding out it was something else yeah. and i'm like oh 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 uh, yeah. oh oh <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, now the balloons are making out. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. All right, this is good. They're, yeah, they're Bad. sort of, the balloons are, are they, sort of us. Were right. they supposed to be they together? They part of us. Yeah. Now right. that they're not together in life, they'll be together in de Okay, and now all they're coming. Out? Anyway. Yeah. But what, um, yeah so and like your... the, the, the people, the four friends, the balloons are friends. The balloons so, are together <laughs> the balloons too. All hang out together. So yeah. that's just it. Like each one had something I liked. It's hard to pick a good yeah. because they were also uh, different. Yeah, difficult. that's true. Yeah. Um, the one I enjoyed the most was uh, Head Blimp. Mm -hmm. Head Balloon? Head Balloon? Head in the Clouds. I think it's Hanging Blimps. Hanging Blimps. Hanging Blimps. <laughs> hanging bl yeah, Hanging Blimp. Hanging Blimp. Um, I liked Hanging Blimp because. There is no escape. There's no logic to it, mm -hmm. but it just keeps going. Yeah, and I had to keep reading. Granted, we had to keep reading to finish well, the story. That's right. right. But you, right. it was gripping. <laughs> you would have anyway. This one I found disturbing, just based on what was happening mm. body wise. Right. Yeah. This one I found compelling because of the morality. This one was compelling because what the actual fuck. <laughs> I know, right. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my good. Okay. Uh, this is my bad. This is my ugly. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Okay. So Tiffany? that's two oh. for good, one for good. Mm -hmm. Two for ugly, two on for right. one for bad. One for bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm with you on this is my good. Like okay. I really this like this was like the story that I was like we're doing this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this one we're doing because yeah, we're of, like this, yeah. this like this like gives you a little peek into some of like what could come if we ever do a sequel right, on this. Random. But but literally there are examples of all three of these plus some other things that I, again I didn't add in here because I was like I don't want, I don't want to read that again right now. Sure. Mm. Um, I think this is gonna I, I I like both of these I like them mm -hmm. all I like them all I think right. this is gonna be my bad okay. because of um. For me personally, there's something about the concept of not having control. Like she's not compelled. Like in Amigar, there's like something about compulsion. He deals a lot with that. Like there's right. that fear, like the fear of being compelled well, to do something that's out of your control. And once it catches you, you can't. Yeah, so, but, but in this, this is, she has a choice. She has a choice, and she chooses to be a part of it. But like the idea of being sucked in like that and being aware and awake as it's happening, yeah. like that thought like permeates my brain. And I I I I read this one first. This is like. Mm -hmm. Out of the three of these, this is the like first of the stories I read ever. Yeah, and so like that story stuck with me just mm. because of that visual of her arm being sucked in yeah. and like how aware she is of what is what a come. regret. Yeah. yeah, and it's like if she doesn't die, how how aware is she of what's happening to her as it's happening? Yeah, like mm. that really bothers me. <laughs> yes. What if she actually literally becomes his intestines? He uses her body right. as well, the interior. We, we, we know, those of us who've read and know Uzumaki know that that could very well be a thing mm. um, in terms of like that sort of like body horror. Yeah. Um, Great. But like, so that really bothers me. Also the way in which he depicts it is, is really well done. I know for a fact that like Ito really thinks about these things mm. right he thought it through he right. thinks it through he like, knows he's like, like he's like i know he's like i know in. this is absurd and this would never happen and it couldn't happen <laughs> but what if it did how would it work and so like the way it pulls itself out yes. i'm like that's really messed up he also uses a lot of anatomical books mm -hmm. like he he's like i don't yeah. someone asked him very they're correct. like do you like looking at this stuff he's like like, like that, is that's a really weird one i have to I yeah. need to use these books in order to, like, <laughs> right. portray what I want to in the way, I, like, adding that realism to the absurd that makes it so unsettling. Hence yes. why he, you know, spends so much time on the panels. Yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, like, well, a lot of it is, too, that, like, he, like, he does a really loose sketch, and then he, like, sketches over it with mm -hmm. pencil. And then it's all, like, dip 
pen and mm -hmm. ink, mm -hmm. and then he does digital work on it. Oh, but like, mm -hmm. you notice in a lot of his stuff, like in his earlier works, he um, used to like fill a lot of like the area in with like black. Mm -hmm. But like, you'll notice like a lot of times, like he'll do like the patterns. Yeah. Like that's all him. That's mm -hmm. all him like hatching on oh, these cool. panels. And so like on more detailed like pieces here, like, you know. Yeah, that must take forever. It does, it takes a while. Anyway, so that's my bad. That's my reason for it being the bad. And this is not really the ugly, it, it, it's right, just, the least compelling for you and no no i like that a lot and, and i think there's something being said there and like there are a couple of panels in there that will stick with me in particular the mom and the baby like that's that's mm. really haunting yeah, it's, yeah. it's a haunting story yeah um but right now because like horror can shift like you're what you that's find true. like scary can shift right now this is my good my bad my ugly fair mm -hmm. enough so i think we have a definitive good oh yeah, right. yeah. this one was these two are tied yeah for bad and ugly. No, and they all have yeah. value, so there's no. There's no. There's no losers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah. no wrong box. Except yeah, these no. are all gonna go with you for the rest of your lives. Yes, you can't escape yeah. what nope. you've learned. I guess we're all losers. In That's that right. Way. Yeah. Yeah, we've all seen it. We can't unsee. We can't. No, you yeah. can't. We're all the ugly. We can never hey. escape from it. And we're, now we can have dreams about it. I know. Well, they talk about dreams too. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. This, is, this is great. This is great. I, I hope oh. you guys enjoyed this, and like, I'm really glad I was able to take you guys with me this time. Because last time I told you the story of Ami Fault. You have to read this it. This time I made you look it. at it and yeah. read it, and like, look at it. Look at, it. Look at his read. art. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a confession in this one. There's a confession in this one. Is the confession here when he's like? It's a different kind of confession. Well, he does, kind of he, does, he does apologize. He's like, I'm sorry if I pushed you to it. Yeah. But no, it's not like, his fault. No, the confession is supposed to be like a love confession. Like, that's uh, like, yeah, like, like oh, he never... Well, no. Like, no, they already, they already had that. No, there's really no confession. Yeah. Okay, the chief's confession is that he's a rapist. <laughs> no, and a murderer. His confession yeah. originally is that he says, he's he like, I, I, I like, like I, I, this yeah. isn't really the time maybe for confession. I'm here, and you think like, oh, maybe he's there because he like... He really likes her a lot. Yes. And he, he that's that emotional connection where yeah. it's just like, oh, well, this person's tied to where their dog died. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, I assaulted yeah. you oh, well, and I, I fell do, for you. I do, yeah, but also, though. I'm a creep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also I'm a, a loser. Monster. What yeah. the hell am I doing here? What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I don't belong here. Well, you do belong here. And here comes your balloon. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. <laughs>